Hello, I'm JW. Just a little quick video here about the uh, light fittings now. This is uh, one of them actually on the ceiling. This is at the top of a rather inconvenient uh, stairwell. And they're quite large. These take uh, 38 watt 2D fluorescent lamps. And these really are the worst design ever. Now, here's one that's actually on the floor. I actually removed it. And you can just about see the outline of the 2D lamp there, the sort of connector block in the centre there where that would plug in. Now these are made of sheet steel, white painted, and it's that sort of uh, round shape with the almost uh, octagonal tray in the middle. Now these are also uh, emergency lights as well, so they have a battery pack in the back there. And those are nickel cadmium batteries, these are fairly old lights. And from time to time emergency light batteries need to be replaced. Now in most light fittings of any decency, what happens is you can just undo usually a couple of screws the whole tray inside will just hinge down and then you can just undo the battery pack and then just plug in a new one, put the screws back in and then you're done literally in a couple of minutes. But uh, this particular design doesn't do that. Now, So this is actually on the ground because you can't actually do anything with these unless you take the whole thing down. And we can see there around the edge you've got four fixing points in those sort of recessed parts. And what we've actually got there is a nut on the end of a threaded screw. And the threaded screw actually comes through from the back of the light fitting which of course if it's stuck on the ceiling you can't actually get to and if you were to try and undo that nut there you might be able to sort of grip it there and undo it without the middle turning but even if you manage to get all four out what's going to happen then is you can't put it back together because you've got no way of getting hold of the thing to actually stop it rotating when you put the nut back on and uh, here's the back of the light fitting and you can see there's four points on the edge which is just a uh, standard uh, screw head there yeah, and a closer look there just the uh, standard fixing there. So the only way to get the tray out of this light fitting is to take the whole light fitting off the ceiling. So you've got to turn off the power, move all the wiring from it, take the old fixing screws out, poke all the wiring back through the hole and then take the whole thing down, put it on the floor. Once you've done that you have to put a uh, screwdriver on the back there and then some kind of nut uh, thing on the front there. Remove all four of those fixings around the edge there and then once you've done that you can then remove the tray on the inside as we've shown here, just uh, lifts away. And then once you've done all that, you can then turn the tray over. And we can see here on the back, there's the battery pack and the obviously electronic driver unit as well. Now, of course, by the time you've done all this, you might as well just be putting up a brand new light fitting rather than trying to change the batteries in this thing. So uh, obviously these light fittings were not designed with any kind of maintainability in mind. Here's the thing that uh, once the batteries run out or once the batteries fail, which still see happens after a while, it's just a question of uh, ditching the entire thing. And there is literally no way of getting those batteries out because the tray fits pretty much flush with the outer pan there, so there's no space around the edge. And even if there was, the problem of course is that you can't actually unscrew the battery pack because the screws for that go in from the other side. So of course you can't actually reach those without taking the whole tray out and that requires removing all the fixings and that requires moving it from the ceiling. So these light fittings really are a load of old junk. Absolutely ridiculous, and uh, say once the batteries fail, basically the entire light fitting is scrap. Now in the case of these ones, what we're actually doing is uh, taking them down, throwing the uh, whole innards away, because several of them have failed, and not just for the batteries, several of them have actually failed for the uh, normal mains powered part as well. And then we're just simply putting a whole new tray into the existing housing, and that's actually an LED one of course, because uh, far less power used and uh, considerably more reliable. And we're actually keeping the existing trays because this particular building has about 50 of these lights installed and you can't buy them anymore. And of course uh, it's either replaced the entire lot, which obviously with 50 of them you're looking thousands of pounds, or as they're failing they're just being replaced with LEDs so then we can keep the same appearance, which avoids having to redecorate the ceilings and uh, get things which obviously don't match. So a bit of a bother there. And really if they just uh, made these things decent in the first place where you just remove the tray from below without having to take the whole thing off the ceiling, of course it would be a lot quicker, easier and cheaper for everyone. But uh, obviously whoever designed this couldn't be bothered with that. So uh, that's it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.